Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I am so happy that you are here today. And I just had to delete an entire video. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, yes I did. I literally talked to you guys for about an hour. I showed you everything that I got in Florida, talked about everything, prices, everything. Um, had a few funny jokes, yeah. Shed a couple tears even. Then I looked at my fridge and saw that my husband put my driver's license renewal reminder on my fridge. And I didn't notice it until I went to go show you all of the magnets that we got to put on the fridge. <sighs> and it had my address. Very visible, very visible, right? See where that fridge is? That's where it was. And he was so thoughtful to um, put the magnets only on the corners of the page. So you could literally see how tall I am, what my license number is, my address, my phone number, all of these things visible for the world to see. So, excuse me for being frustrated, um, but now I need to show you everything all over again. And there were some cute moments. Boober scared me at one point and it was adorable. And I honestly hate it when this happens. I think this is actually the worst, like the amount of time that I've wasted. Um, but it's really hard when this happens because then I can't remember what I talked about. And I get so like, like screwed up in my mind trying to figure out where I am. You know what I mean? But now I just deleted every single clip. So we're just starting fresh, starting all over again. And no one will know everything that I just did and said. But I'm sorry to myself um, for, yeah, just wasting all that time. Hi, how was school? I haven't seen you since you got off the bus. Hot. You're hot? Are you gonna go put shorts on? School is jail. I know. I'm sorry, I had to be in jail too. Or it's jail babe, too. Babe, babe, guess what? Okay, so you know how you just went out and got the bus and Kept the kids outside as long as you could so I could do this video. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Do you remember putting this on the refrigerator today? Yeah. What's on that? That? Yeah, I opened your mail. Uh, okay, that's fine. But this was on the fridge. Yeah. You were really nice to put the magnets here, 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 and here. Oh, so all of the information was visible. Uh... And <laughs> I had to delete every single clip that I just filmed. I thought you would have been done a little while ago. Yep. Every single clip, about an hour of content. Did you like that? No, but I still love you. Well, I bet you the second take was even more beautiful. Than the it first. won't be because uh, there was so much funniness. And, the and now all my funny angriness. juice is gone. Funny juice. We'll get a different kind of juice out of you later. <laughs> so there's my frustration for the day. Honestly, this is something that Curtis and I talk about all the time. Of course, we have to keep our um, address as safe as possible. Um, we don't want and, you guys finding us. Well, most of you would be totally fine, but I'm just, the wind is totally out of my sails right now. Um, but like, we don't show the license plates on the cars. We try very hard to vlog so that we're not vlogging the names of streets around where we live. And honestly, Curtis is the problem child because he constantly will put stuff on the vlog that can't be there, like for safety. Um, anyways, I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a few hours. <laughs> it's been a few hours and I'm back. <sighs> I just need to take a break have a snack, sit outside in the sun for a little bit and like get my energy back because I was so excited about all these things that I wanted to show you that I tired myself out talking about them, honestly. And I was telling myself when I was working myself up to do it again, I was like, you know what, Miranda, maybe you made the video too long in the first place. Maybe you said something that was offensive. Maybe there's a reason why 
you know, more than just you were giving away your birth date and address and all of these things. Um, you know, maybe there was an actual reason other than that, that you needed to throw out, throw out an hour of content. Um, normally, I will say like stuff like this has happened before, but normally it's like I take one clip and oh damn, I got the the name of my street on there on that clip. So I'll delete that clip and take it again. I don't think I've ever since I started YouTube, which lucky for me because this is exhausting. Um, since I started YouTube, I don't think I've ever had to delete an entire video and refilm it. So my counter's still a mess, like legitimately still a mess. Um, I might forget some of the things that I wanted to tell you, but I'm going to try to do it a little bit quicker actually, cause the in-laws are coming over and I still got to do homework with Winnie. Um, oh damn the laundry. I was trying to get the laundry put away. I need to give her a bath. Um, Skylar's going for tutoring tonight and Cooper is going to basketball and Jake is actually here with Cooper. So you got to feed them. And when I say we, I mean, I need to feed them and take them down to basketball and literally like what are the chances that this morning Curtis and I had he called it an argument but like it really wasn't an argument like we were not mad at each other um but we had a discussion like that's what I said I'm not mad at you so I don't think that was an argument I think like we've had those <laughs> and there's a definite sign when we're arguing but like we still sat down with each other and watched alone and ate some breakfast that I cooked for us, you know? So like, we just, we had a discussion about how I am frustrated um, because my jobs, which like I babysit full time. I'm a mom, a housekeeper and a YouTuber. And all of these jobs that I do, there's a lot, but it's very flexible. So I can fit in things when it seems like I have no time, I can find time and I can do it. Yeah, and also not to mention weight loss. That was actually the discussion today because I wanted to go for a walk tonight, but he wanted his parents to come over. He wanted me to be here when his parents were here, but I'm like, babe, I can't do it all. When am I supposed to do it all? But <sighs> truth be told, I bought a cake. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Uh, I bought a cake and ice cream. There's no point of even lying. There's no point. Um, <laughs> ice guy. <laughs> so I bought a cake and ice cream and I decided, fine, I won't go for a walk today. I'll be here when my in-laws come. There won't be any awkwardness. It'll be totally normal family shit. <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to do anything it took for me to feel better. And I literally, I know this is melodramatic. I know. But because we had this discussion about me working so much and us never getting time, you know, and it's just, he works a lot. I work a lot. When he's here, I try to get more stuff done because he's helping me. So I don't know. Maybe this is too personal to share with the internet, but you guys are my best friends anyways. And I think we've come to expect this of me that I might... <laughs> let go of a little too much personal information but <sighs> honestly it just was a weird day for that to happen and I was sitting on the couch and I literally had tears rolling down my face I really did and I know I'm gonna get 20 comments take a break Miranda take a break I don't need to I like this I really do I really this is the stuff in my life that I like there are other things in my life that I'm I don't enjoy as much so of course I have to do everything, but I just don't have to do everything all of the time. And I can still put out videos. And trust me, if I need a break, I will take one. But I I really don't feel like I need a break. I feel like I'm on like a really good roll right now. And I like rolls with extra butter. <laughs> Warmed up, okay? Maybe even some molasses. Oh, damn. <laughs> but let's get to the haul. Um, like I said, I'm going to miss some information that I wanted to tell you. And because it's all like I had it all separated and like in order of appearance and, you know, together with where it was bought, all that stuff. You're not getting that now. Sorry. I'm just going to show you what we got and you're going to like it. Okay. <laughs> so the boys 
bought a lot of stuff. We bought some stuff for the boys. Basically, none of their stuff is in this haul because it's all already being used, already in the rotation of regular life. And this morning or like before lunch, when I started filming the first part of this video that will never be seen, um, I went into the bedrooms to see if I could find some of the stuff that we bought them. And I walked into Skylar's and I was like, <laughs> nope. And then I walked down to Cooper's and I was like, <laughs> double nope. Like, I honestly don't know how many times I have to tell my boys, please don't leave food in your bedroom. Please don't leave dirty plates and cups in your bedroom. Don't leave empty bottles in your bedroom. Clothes, I expect. I expect clothes. I expect blankets. I expect gaming stuff. But it's... It's the stuff that attracts the rodents and the ants that terrify me. Why, why do they do this to me? I don't know. I don't know. I wash the dishes. I clean. All they have to do is bring it to the sink and I will take care of it. Okay. Like, <laughs> oh, it's fun, isn't it? It's, it's an adventure. <laughs> Send help, please. <laughs> when we were at Disney World, I was like, boys, boys, do you guys want one of these shirts? Do you want do you want one of these? Look, Pizza Planet. You want a Pizza Planet shirt? They had no fun with me in stores. They did not want me to buy them anything at the Disney stores. They literally told me, if you buy us that, we'll wear it one time to Disney and we'll never wear it again. And I was like, but but, but, but you love this movie. And they're like, it's not the vibe, mom. It's not the style. So it was only Winnie and I that shopped at Disney. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Um, also, I got some other stuff here that's not from Disney anyways. But um, actually, let, 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 okay, let me try. <laughs> am I a little bit ass backwards now? Yes, I am. Um, but I think the first place we shopped at was the the outlet stores so after we got off the plane we had a little bit of time before we could get into our indian shores resort um i will actually link the resort in this video because it was a really good resort i didn't tell them hey i'm a youtuber like you want to give me like a free night or something and i'll shout out your company you know like nothing like that at all um they probably didn't even know that i was recording any of it but literally, we're going to go back there again. I absolutely loved it. It's called Legacy Indian Shores. I'll see if I can find a link and I'll put it in the description. But um, we're doing that again, like 100%. The beach is where I belong. The temperature in Orlando is BS. And the temperature in Tampa is right. It is like beachy, windy not too hot, not too cold, just that like middle perfectness, okay? Oh, I wish I was there right now with a drink <laughs> and no kids. <laughs> so I went to the Nike outlet store. I actually forgot that I bought this. Um, if you were watching like the end vlogs where on the way home we had a medical emergency, she's doing so much better, thank you. And yes, we have some follow-up appointments and tests and stuff that are coming up. Um, but I did buy a black Nike hoodie at Dick's Sporting Goods on the way home. But I forgot, I already had this one too. <laughs> this one is so cute. This is so fall. Is this not fall? I, I love this color for fall. I love greens. And this is a color green that I don't really have in my wardrobe at all. It's a little bit I don't know, like a little bit more yellowy green. It was $29.97. I love it. I tried it on at the store. It looks adorable on. I love it. Um, also got this for Winnie. Like we got stuff for the boys too, but they're, <laughs> it's in their rotation. It, some of it's probably dirty currently. Skylar wore one of the shirts he bought for himself yesterday. But Winnie, do you remember this t-shirt? I forgot that we got you this. Hey, you're wearing a Nike shirt right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then she's got this beauty pink one. This was on clearance for $9.97. And I got myself this beautiful little tote bag. Um, they did have a purple and pink one and Winnie, Winnie really wanted me to get the purple and pink one. And I was gonna get it, but then I saw this black one and I was like, this one is so much more versatile. 
I can use it for anything. And what a good price on this, you guys, $24.99. $24.99. There's a little um, laptop spot as well. I'll probably use it when we go camping or when we go to baseball games, whatever, and I match. <laughs> Matchers. Um, anyways, I Googled this to see how much it actually was in Canada, and I can buy it at Sport Check, which is our Dick's sporting goods store. It is literally nothing like that. It is not even half as good as the Dick's sporting goods store is. They're amazing. Sport Check is just like, it's a little bit uglier cousin, okay? And you can buy this in Canada today for $70 on sportcheck.ca. I got it for $24.99. So yes, of course, like the exchange rate, blah, 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 but I still didn't pay $70 Canadian for that. I probably paid like, what, 40 Canadian for it? You were just getting deals left, right, and center. She was a shopping machine, shopping here, there, everywhere. <laughs> She's just like a pro. You're pretty good at what you do, baby girl. He still feels bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> After a little note. Oh, yes, so he I did that. I replaced. When I, I told Curtis, like, I was sitting on the couch, literally tears rolling down my face. Not, like, blubbering. I just couldn't stop the tears from coming. Um, yes, I do take mental health medication. And actually, mm -hmm. maybe that would have been a good opportunity to take one of my emergency bills, but I didn't. Yeah. I just got a cake. It took, so, it took some ice cream, too. <laughs> so when I went down, I told Curtis, I was like, I'm just going to leave for 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Oh, and, she came back with, a, like, a Sunday fiesta. And, like, I got big. enough for everybody, like, the kids Yeah, as well, it made so. it a fun little afternoon yeah, it thing. did. And it's super hot out today, so it yeah. was nice. It's probably um, the highlight of the I day. I came back and Curtis put that. He colored Bell. Can you even see it? I don't know if you can see it. If you can't see so it, then this is it. all mute. Mute? I mute. Look, mute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the lips on her. Yeah, I realized as soon as I did that that I should have colored them with a crayon. <laughs> it's, it was very sweet. Bold move, Belle. <laughs> Bold move. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, it's all right. Your first okay. one was real good, but this I know, one is that's even better. why I was sad. This is but... better. I'm really glad I did it because this one is going to be like, everybody's going to be like, what a freaking haul. And did you guys see this? She's still looking like beachy with this frigger on here. I love it. I really like it too. And actually, you know, ow, ow, it's still attached <laughs> to my head. Um, I did a purple shampoo routine last night and I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, it nice and and okay, do you know David, the hairstylist no. from around here? David, he lives on, um, oh, I can't say the name of the street, but he's a hairstylist. The yeah. man hairstylist. Hidden Treasures. Hidden, yes, that's his name. Okay, so. I told her you about know Hidden what he Treasures. Said, he's and like, I read and thought it was a special store with some I different didn't kind know. of treasures. I didn't know that that's was the That's called Treasures name. and Pleasures. There's a difference. <laughs> he was in the line behind me at the grocery store. And he said, I love your hair color. And I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks. Because, I mean, he's a hairstylist. Like, I, everybody knows David. From Salisbury. Well, but you know, know who he is. I know his shop. Yeah, he's famous. He's so, always walking, right? Yeah, he has a yeah. little dog that he yes. walks with. Yeah. So, um. I should see what he could do with my hair. Do you guys see the stash? I'm back at it. See? I like the I'm stash. She cute. likes it. I still Anyways. think I'm a little bit of a perv in it. <laughs> Uncle Boy <Boyby>. Uncle Boy <laughs> Um, he liked my hair color and that made me happy. And then I came back and I had some cake and ice cream and then ate so much that it hurt my belly and then i had some chips <laughs> Listen, babe, we're not doing great guys beach babe's gonna have some cake by the ocean tonight <laughs> so there was a day while we were in tampa that the boys went to a leafs game and the girls stayed at the resort and we went shopping so we found this really adorable store it was just like a tourist stop or whatever, but it was really cute. I got this cute shirt for myself, which you may have seen in a previous vlog where I got thrown up on. So this shirt is now stained. I don't know if you can tell. The first time I filmed this video, you could tell, um, but the lighting was different. Anyways, it is stained. Um, I tried to clean it in the hotel sink, but it didn't really come all the way clean. But I mean, I'll still wear it. 
I bought this one for me. I bought Curtis, a long sleever, just like this, only in a really cute blue color. And then you maybe recognize this because the boys, I bought them also um, t-shirts and sunglasses from that store. And theirs are similar to this as well, but they got t-shirts instead of long sleevers because that's perfect for summer. And then I got this for Winnie. This cute little um, perfect for camping hoodie because it's not super thick and it's so cute because look there's Jessie. Do you see that? Isn't that so adorable? Indian Shores, Florida. Amazing. It's paradise you guys. Um, so Winnie got that. Guys I bought Winnie so many little toys like little fidgets, little, little Disney toys, little everything like so many poppets so many little like puppy toys and stuff so i'm not going to get into all of those she even bought some at disney but i do not have them here um yeah and i'm not even going to go look for them because i cleaned her room so good yesterday you guys it is so organized spick and span i wish i had recorded her reaction when she got home um because her eyes lit right up like I made her room oh, its own little paradise and she loves it and I was happy to be able to do that for her but I'm not about to go digging through her toys that I just organized to get out more toys just to show you so just trust me there's a lot of little toys and if you've been here for any amount of time then you know she likes toys um so I'm gonna be matching Winnie because I got this Indian Shores hoodie for myself and I love it. I haven't worn it yet. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It was hard to find something in my size there, but I did. This is an extra large $24.99. A lot of their stuff, um, they had clothes that were plus size, but all of the bigger sizes were gone. And a lot of the clothes that they had there were all extra small, small, medium, even largest were hard to come by. I was happy to find one that would fit me so I can match the queen when we go camping. I think that is honestly one of my very favorite things in the world to do is to match my little girl. Like I just, I was a boy mom for so long. I, and I love being a boy mom, I really did. But you guys, one day I had a girl <laughs> and she changed my whole world literally. I'm not outnumbered anymore. I was outnumbered. My dog was a boy. My husband's a boy. My boys were boys. And I was the only girl. And now I got a buddy, you guys. Like, squad goals, okay? <laughs> so, um, like, there's other things that we bought along the way. This is just, I'm sorry if I'm not showing you something that I wanted to show you. You guys, I, I'm forgetful and I don't like script these videos and that's why I was so tired because like I get going and I get excited and then it takes out so much of my energy and like I'm old. I'm gonna be 37 in July. Is that like two months away? A little bit more than two months. 37, like <laughs> slipping through my fingers all the time. Like literally I am tired. I'm just tired and when I filmed my video where it was just a little while ago, I showed you guys my tattoos. I thought I showed them all to you and I didn't. I have a tattoo right here that, you know, I showed you all of my tattoos, but the one that's on my face. <laughs> so yeah, I have a cross there too. And I, I was so ticked when I realized it, when I was watching the video back the next day after I already uploaded it, I was like, I'm missing a tattoo, Miranda. I felt like there was one missing, but I couldn't figure it out when I was filming the video. So I was just like, there you go. That's all my tattoos, but <laughs> no. <laughs> and maybe there's another one that I forgot, but I just didn't notice it when I was watching it back. I am very forgetful, but there's just too much stuff up here. There's just too much to remember. So it's not like I'm not smart. I am, it's just, there's only so much information I can hold at one time. So I make little happy accidents. Thank you, Bob Ross. Um, okay, got this Disney shirt. I got this Disney shirt. I love it. It's actually, Curtis gave me the best compliment when I was wearing it. He was like, that is the nicest Disney shirt that you own. I actually love that. Which is like, yay. Um, I bought it at Walmart because 
I thought we were going to the Magic Kingdom first. And my plan was to be Belle. Like I had my whole Belle outfit, the ears, the shirt, the pants, my whole Belle outfit ready for Magic Kingdom. My plan was to go to Magic Kingdom in that outfit and then buy myself a new outfit to wear to Disney Hollywood Studios. But we did not go that way. So I panicked and I was like, babe, I need a shirt. I need, I need a shirt for Disney Hollywood Studios. And he's like, didn't you bring other Disney shirts other than the one you have with Belle? And I was like, yeah, but none good enough for Disney Hollywood Studios. I need, I need a new shirt for that. And he's like, okay. <laughs> so I think we were actually on our way to the Blue Jays game, Blue Jays versus Tampa Bay Rays. It was a fun experience. Um, we stopped at a Walmart along the way. And of course, Cooper bought more basketball cards. He actually has quite a stash now. And I am so excited to go to the States um, in like November, October, November to buy all of our Christmas gifts because then maybe it won't be hard to find basketball cards. <laughs> it is like finding a needle in a haystack here, but you guys support the NBA so much more than Canada does. We have one team in the NBA. Seulement un. One team, okay? And to find anything that is NBA themed here is amazing. It's all hockey here. It really is. It's all hockey. In the summer, you can find a lot of Blue Jay stuff. And you can find quite a bit of Raptors stuff. But other teams, good luck. Um, anything else NBA other than the Raptors, good luck. Like, <laughs> it's difficult. So I'm excited just to get out of my country again, you know. it's. I was happy to come back because of the medical emergency. You know, that happened on the way home. But um, I'm excited to leave my kids that cause medical emergencies at home in the fall and just go and have a weekend with my best friend and shop and hotel and spend all the money and have so much fun. So um, this I got at Walmart, I think it was like $11. Um, it does have a really big armhole, um, but it's nice and thin. So that was perfect for Orlando hot as balls weather. Um, but I bought this to go with it because I was thinking ahead, thinking I need to wear something under that. I don't wanna wear a full tank top because that'll just add too many layers and make me extra hot. So I found this and I love it. I've worn it multiple times now. It is literally a sports bra or like a bralette, okay? With a little bit of like a cropped tank over it. And spoiler alert, you guys, I just did some shopping online. <laughs> um, I bought for the first time from like a, an actual haul from American Eagle and Aerie. Spoiler alert, I got some of these. I hope they work because they're so cute. They're so cute. So, okay, that is that. Now let me show you Winnie's stuffies. I really did want to show you these. I love the stuffies that she chose and she is... A stuffy lover okay so I knew this was gonna be one of her favorite things when Cooper and Skylar went with us when they were little to Disney World we went in 2012 when he was born in 2014 so she missed the boat that time um, but when we went Cooper came home with 17 brand new stuffies from Disney World so we have stuffy lovers in the house we always have and I'm just happy to have the final stuffy lover, because if there's one more, I will lose my ever loving mind. Okay. Like <laughs> the shop is closed, baby. Okay. So she got at Hollywood studios. She got this little Dalmatian baby and angel who's, we call her stitches girlfriend. Um, there they are. And then at, um, Oh wait, also at Hollywood studios. If you missed that vlog, it's adorable. You should go watch it. But I told a really good story about these girls from Turning Red. And we absolutely love that movie. We're Canadian. It's like set in Canada. There's a lot of Canadian actresses and actors in it. There's Timbits in it. There's Canadian money. There's the CN Tower, like the Sky Dome even. Oh, I love it. I love it so much and I'm so happy that we were able to find all four of these 
for Winnie. So we got those girls. And okay, I think everything else that I have here anyways is from the Magic Kingdom. So Winnie found Rapunzel at the Magic Kingdom. Rapunzel baby, she squealed. Literally so, so squealy as soon as we found her. Um, so, so happy to have her. And then in the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, we got Cinderella. Um, also, we were looking for um, anything from Encanto. Anything from that movie. We absolutely love it. It is one of the best movies Disney has ever made. And they had nothing at Magic Kingdom. Not even a magnet. Literally nothing at the Magic Kingdom. We went in every store. We asked employees. Nope. Nothing. Not even a pen. Not even a pin. Nothing. Um, blew my mind. In the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique, actually, when we were in there looking, they were playing the soundtrack from Encanto, but <laughs> they didn't have any merch at all. Um, one employee did tell us that she saw some Encanto stuff at a kiosk or something in Disney Springs, which we actually didn't get to, but she said that was a long time ago and I haven't seen any since. So I don't know if that movie just did way better than Disney expected and they didn't have a lot of merch for it or maybe all the merch is lost or maybe it's somewhere else. I don't know. Made no sense to me at all. There was no representation at all. They had stuff for Coco, um, but they didn't have anything from like the biggest movie of the year. I just couldn't believe it. Anyways, um, right before Winnie had her medical emergency, she found these at the airport and who was I to say no? Um, so I bought her all three of these. <laughs> this is what she was looking for the most because she watches um, YouTube kids and she watches some videos and the girls went to Disney World that she watched and they got these. And so she was looking specifically for these dolls. And the only one that she could find that she really wanted, that she liked at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique was this one. Cinderella. So when we saw these, it was like 5 a.m., 4.30 in the morning. It was so early in the morning before coffee. And um, we were buying our snacks and water because if you didn't know, now if you go on an airplane, I'm not sure if it's all the airplanes, but our airline that we were on, they have water, they have snacks, they have drinks, but they're not free or <laughs> You don't pay for them when you pay your thousands of dollars for your tickets. You have to buy them on the airplane, actually. Like, you know, the drink cart, that costs now per item. So we always bought stuff in the little stores in the airport just so we could pick out what we wanted. We brought a bag of stuff. So I spent like $200 at that store when I bought these. I found some other um, magnets that I bought and then I got drinks and snacks and stuff like that. Um, but I couldn't say no to Winnie. Like that's what she was looking for. And she did have some of her own money as well. But if I'm being truthful, like I stopped counting. I did not at all. Like I normally just paid for everything with my card and I'm sure she came away with way more than she actually had. Um, but I bought stuff for the kids, the other boys, the boys, the other kids. I bought stuff for everyone. Um, yeah. Okay, this is also from Disney World. These, I wish they had them in a double XL women's turning red jammies. Literally, when she puts these on, it's like, she's my doll. Like, you guys, I absolutely adore that girl. I really do. She is so easy to love. And that's why she scared me so bad. <laughs> okay, the little things that we got from, um, what am I talking about now? Uh, the Magic Kingdom. Winnie picked out this. I mean, we had to. We did do pin trading. So one of my friends sent me this, um, what do you call this? Lancelot? Lanyard. Lanyard. Uh, one of my beautiful friends, I know who you are, sent me this. And um, there were some pins on it, but then some other subscribers and friends sent more pins. So this was decked out for Disney. When he traded a couple, which was really fun. And then we bought this one for her. 
and we also bought this one but mommy broke it because i was all stressed out we were trying to trade pins and i dropped this on the floor and marie's head just literally like popped right off i know i can glue it back on though so it's really not that big of a deal but then i also bought the, a package of these mickey pin backs because that's why it um fell off the lanyard was just because i needed a better um holder thing so anyways when he got those super exciting and at disney world i found this for me or was this hollywood studios this may have been a Hollywood Studios. I don't know. They're both Disney, right? So I found this, which is from the movie Up, which is one of my all-time faves. Okay. I love it. And then, obviously, the man, the myth, the legend, the mouse, Mickey himself. I got those. You guys, we got so many more magnets. But these were the only ones that I got at Hollywood Studios at the Magic Kingdom. I found, actually it wasn't me, I think it was Cooper who found these. This is Mickey and the Gang, okay, magnet set, $14.99, beautiful, love it. Turning red, amazing. Winnie and I were so excited when we found this, and look, it's Winnie's favorite character on the back, ooh! I, this is so adorable to me. Magnet set, and I think this was $14.99 as well, yes. So, worth every friggin' penny um loved this i don't remember how much actually i don't even think i knew how much i was paying for this at the time when you're on vacation um this is from the movie inside out which amy poehler absolutely love and sadness is i don't know her name right off the bat but it is um oh van what's his, oh dang it what's her name skylar What's the girl's name from uh, The Office that married uh, Bob Vance from Vance Refrigeration? Phyllis! Phyllis. Yeah, Phyllis. She's sadness. And, oh, it's such a good movie. It actually gets you in the feels. Um, bing bong. Oh, all right. I'm already kind of teetering in the feels, actually, so I better be careful. My um, ring light just fell on you. I'm so sorry. That was very rude of me. Um, okay, what else did I get? <sighs> I just saw this rolling around. I bought this for myself. Curtis was like, what do you, what do you want that ball for? And I think I actually got this at Hollywood Studios. The days are really like melding together. $12.99 for this little ball. But Curtis is like, I was like, don't you recognize this ball? This is iconic. This is the Pixar ball. Hello, like literally, this is not a ball to bounce. This is decor. It is beautiful, magnificent, $12.99 plastic ball decor, okay? I don't know where it's going. It'll likely go on one of my shelves somewhere, maybe inside a mug, um, but I just, it's so iconic. I had to have it. Um, okay, I think that's, oh no, wait, I got something else at Disney Studios or Disney Hollywood Studios. Let's see, oh, I haven't even looked in this bag since we got home. Oh yeah, I got two things. And ho yes, okay, I got two shirts <laughs> from Disney Hollywood Studios, you guys. Boom, baby. <laughs> Cusco. All right, who remembers this movie? Emperor's New Groove. One of the classics from when I was a kid, I remember I got this movie on VHS one Christmas when I was like probably in middle school. Um, amazing, amazing. It is like not my favorite color, but I think like just to have as like a nice big shirt, what did I get it sized here? Extra large? Um, wow, that's... That's a lot of letters, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. I really, okay, it's an extra large. I really hummed and hawed over this one because it's $40, right? And that's $40 American, so it's probably like a $50 shirt, um, maybe a little bit more than that. But this was one of the moments where I was like, where would you ever find a Cusco shirt in Moncton, in Canada? Like, you're not going to find it because it's so, like, 
old. Like it's it's not a movie that's super popular now, but I mean, people my age, it's popular. Like the poison kills Cusco, <laughs> you know? Like smack it with a hammer. <laughs> Anyways, I was excited to show Curtis this because that's one of the movies we've loved together. So um, anyways, love to have that. And I also got this one. You guys, you guys, I have not worn this. Oh my, this is so me. I literally have Buzz and Woody tattooed on my leg, okay? Um, this shirt was $36.99. I got it in a 1X. I am obsessed. I absolutely, it's front and back, baby. It's front and back. It's a lot. It's a lot. So you're going to want to be wearing something a little bit more toned down on the legs. But, oh, I saw it and I was like, yep. I didn't even think about it. I didn't even um, consider putting it down. I was like, you're coming home with me. Absolutely. Okay. I think, I don't know, guys. I don't know. There's still a few things here. Okay. I showed this on one of the vlogs, the vlog from the Magic Kingdom. Um, this was $29.99. You guys, <laughs> I am obsessed. This will be my hat of the summer. It's cozy. I have a ginormous head and it fits my head. So like, I love it. I really do love it. For beauty is found within, bitches. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, we also got a forky pen. Hello, <laughs> trash. <laughs> $12.99 for that. Winnie was going to buy one for herself as well. And I was like, dude, I'll totally share. I just want to have it in my house. It can be yours. I just want to have it because oh, when are you going to find a forky pen? Like, oh, I love it so much. Um, okay. This is one of the best things that I bought myself. And it was one of the last things that I bought for myself. I didn't get a lounge fly bag. Okay. I didn't. The reason that I didn't get one I feel like I have to explain myself. The reason I didn't get one was because I can buy lounge fly bags here. I can get them shipped to me. I can buy them at Hot Topic. Um, and like, yeah, it might not say Disney Parks on it, but a lot of them are generally the same. Like there wasn't one item that I absolutely had to have. And I knew that was going to take up a lot of space. And also they're like a hundred bucks. So like it's taking up a lot of my play money too. So I did get a wallet. I did get a wallet. It says Disney Parks. Okay. Lounge fly. I needed a new wallet. I needed one that was a little bit bigger. This, I haven't used it yet. And I'm so excited. This was 50 smackaroonies. Okay. And that is not toonies. <laughs> that is American money. So it's more um, for me, but that's okay. Um, so you're getting, <laughs> when you open it up, you got all this space for cards. You got space for bills. And then you even have space for your toonies and loonies, quarters, nickels, and dimes, but not pennies. Because in Canada, we no longer have pennies. My boys' minds were blown when they paid for something. I can't even remember what it was, but it came to whatever price it that it did and they needed to get three dollars and 99 cents back instead of just getting four dollars so they they were like look they literally counted out 99 cents instead of just rounding up which like i did not grow up like that like we only took away the penny a few years ago oh my god i honestly don't even know it just makes sense for us now um pennies I think the reason why they took pennies away here is because they cost more to make them than they're worth. So they were just like, let's just stop with the pennies. If you pay like with a debit card or credit card, it's down to the penny. Um, but when it is cash, you just round up or down depending on where you land. It totally makes sense to us Canadians now. It just blew my kids' minds that they were like, they have pennies here. And <laughs> I don't know. It's just a weird world, guys. Um, okay. Think. Everything else, I like my counter. Oh my heck, I almost forgot my favorite thing. Miranda, did you get any mugs? I guess I have a mug collection. It's kind of my thing. I bought two and that is it. I only bought two. 
I was very concerned. I wanted about 30. I really did. I was concerned about the price, but also can I get them home safely? We had paid extra for everyone to have a carry-on bag because you have to pay for everything now in an airline. They don't just give you a free bag for free to take. Like you have to pay for your carry-on bags, your checked bags. So we bought checked bags for everyone and a carry-on bag for everyone. We actually bought this massive suitcase in Florida that put, I think we put Winnie's suitcase inside the massive suitcase and we had way more space for stuff. It was still totally filled. Everything was filled. We bought, we bought so much stuff. Like you guys, it just, it was very stressful. So I only bought two and I'm glad that I only bought two. There are a few things that I did not buy that like, I still think about them. Like I have the FOMO and it doesn't feel good. <laughs> there are definitely a few things that I wish that I bought, but I mean, I'm not sad. I just, ah, there's a couple things, but it's fine. I'm happy with what I got. Um, and for the mugs, I got something that's special um, from me and the boys, but also for me and Curtis, because this was one of our favorite movies when the boys were little. Yeah, it's Wally and E. Ah, <laughs> um, how adorable is this? They're a set, and the reason that I was excited that I found this was because it was in a box. It had a good chance of making it home. I did bring it in my carry-on because I did actually. My carry-on was literally stuffed with all of the things that I bought at Disney World because if someone was going to lose my bag. They were going to lose the shit that I didn't just buy and haven't even got to wear yet. So my carry-on was stuffed with all of the stuff that I got from Disney. Um, how much did I pay for this? $27.99, you guys, for the set. For the set. Look at this. I love that there's a heart in the middle. I feel an Instagram moment loading very soon, I would imagine. Oh, I just, I can't, I can't. I just love it. Um, okay. Now the other, there's only a few more things that I got from Disney World. Um, I am sending a package to, um, one of my friends and it was just her birthday. And so she loves Disney too. And I wanted to get, get a couple things for her. So I got us matching pens. So I'm going to keep one of these pens and I'm sending the other one to her. This is the 50th, 50th. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, the 50th anniversary pen. So I'm sending that to Ontario. I also picked up this stitch decal and this, I should have got one of these for myself too, because that is just so cute with the Mickey balloons and the castle. Love it. So I got that for her. I also got her this. I think I found this at five below amazing i almost bought it for myself and then i was like Miranda, you already have like 10 journals on the go and you don't even write anything in them so <laughs> i'll get in this like phase where i'm like yes no write in this every day that'd be a fire call um babe if you're going on a fire call you got to cancel your parents if you're leaving you got to cancel your parents no just cancel your parents it's okay okay <laughs> it's okay hear what it is Call your parents. I'll invite them tomorrow instead. Okay, sounds good to me. Okay, so this stuff is going to my girl. And I also bought two of these magnets. So one's going to be for me and one's for her. So I'm also going to send her a card and a little gift card, of course. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Okay, like, you guys... Let me just show you my counter. Then you'll understand why I keep doing this. See all this, you guys? Okay. Like, it's a lot. It's just a lot. Today has been an extremely weird day. <laughs> Very weird day. Like, have you ever had a day that you've lived out and you're like, I didn't like how that went today. Can we, like, try again? Like, Groundhog Day, you know, wake up and, like, well, I wouldn't want to do it over and over and over, but... There are certain days in my life where I'm like, I could have done better. I could, I could have done better. Can we try that again, God? Just, you know, rewind, you know? Let me try again. Anyways, um, 
I think I got two more shirts and then the rest are magnets. Um, trying to think which one I want to show you first. I'll just show you in order of appearance. Okay. I, Winnie and I looked all around the stores and I think this was my favorite. Absolutely perfect for me. Vintage looking Disney sweatshirt. It is. Let me just show you. Let me just show you. They're playing Mario Kart. That's what the noise is. You guys see this? Oversized. Oversized stripes on the arms literally stripes on the arms and then the back hello hello okay this is just an extra large oversized okay 54.99 obsessed i probably will be wearing this tomorrow probably <laughs> as long as it's not too hot i I think that's my favorite thing that I bought, period. It's just the vintage, the washed out color. I just, it just looks like it came from my dad. My dad used to wear this and, and he, didn't, he didn't want it anymore. So he's like, hey daughter, do you want this vintage sweater? And I was like, oh yeah, totally, thanks. I love it. Okay, and then I told you guys in the vlogs when we were at Disney, I saw many of the spirit jerseys. I've been looking at them since before I knew we were going to be going to Disney World when we just went. I've been obsessed for a long time and I just love the way they look. They are expensive, um, but I feel like it's such a Disney lover vibe. If you're a Disney lover and you know about Disney World and spirit jerseys, then you're already speaking my language. Which one do you guys think I bought? <laughs> I almost got the 50th anniversary. I was this close. It was the only reason I picked the one that I picked is because it felt more summery and I'm in a summer vibe right now. I got Stitch. I got Stitch, guys. I did. I love it. I love it. I love the color. Look at the back. Oh. I love it. I really do. And I love the blue. I, I'm really starting to love the blue colors. I got this in a double XL. And you know what? Disney, Disneyland. No, that's not where I was. Disney World and Disney Hollywood Studios. Um, or the Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. All of their clothes, they had all sizes. I didn't feel like, oh, well, they have nothing in an extra large. They have nothing in a plus size. Like, they did. Like they had like 5X t-shirts at Disney World, which I'm like, yes for inclusivity. I, did I say that right? I don't know. But like, I just, I felt like, I know there are weird things going on with Florida and politics and stuff. Let me tell you, there were people of all walks of life that worked there and that were there and there was nothing political going on. It was magical for everyone of every size, every race, every gender, no matter who you love, no matter what you do, like Disney is for you, it's for everyone. So I just love that feeling, I really did. And I, oh you guys, I know this is going to be a very lived in shirt. How much did I pay for this? I don't think it actually said the price. Yeah, the, I was weirded out by that because I, I was thinking the spirit jerseys were like $100 each. Um, but I noticed none of them had a price tag on it. I'm assuming because they must change the price of them. Um, but I think I paid like $64. It was like around 70, something like that. Um, super happy, super happy with that. I think, I think that's everything other than, did I show you the pins? I think I did. I'm, I'm, it's very hard for me because I'm like, I know I showed them the pins, but did I show them twice or just once? Because if I just showed them once, then that means it was in the video I had to delete. If I showed them twice, then that means I did it in both videos. One of them is making it to the internet. The other one has been trashed. Um, but I think I did. Oh, and I wanted to show you this. I still got magnets. I'm going to show you. Um, but in one of the last hotels we were in, they had scrub mommies. They did, and I I didn't open it. I didn't wash dishes when I was there. We just loaded the little dishwasher that was there. Um, we basically used no dishes. Actually, the dish, 
this was kind of gross but the dishwasher already had dishes in it that were dirty so i was like that's kind of sus we didn't make those dishes anyways it's fine um this was by the sink and i looked at it and i was like i really want to take you but i don't want to be that guy and then curtis is like you're taking that scrub mummy right and i was like no i i i couldn't do it i don't got the balls and he's like do it like ross what do you mean the lamp no 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 the light bulb yes 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 so i brought home the scrub mommy i am absolutely loving my scrub daddy absolutely it is it's changed my life it really like it's soft it's hard it can be anything you want it to be <laughs> but i'm happy to have that i'm excited to try out the scrub mommy now i'm going to show you all the rest of the magnets i did i'm trying to think i think i showed you twice about like the turning red and yeah yeah i think so i'm sorry you guys today's a weird day um Okay, so some of these magnets we bought at Walmart. <laughs> that was a lot of, t sorry. <laughs> um, some of them we bought at Walmart, which was really close to the resort where we were staying in Orlando. And let me tell you that Walmart, you guys, was made for tourists. Like, they had so much stuff. We bought Winnie's, um, oh, dang it, I don't even know where that is. One of the toy things that we bought for her was um, the Finding Nemo. Remember those? I don't know where we put them. They're somewhere. Um, we got her Finding Nemo sinkable toys. That was from Walmart. It was only like $12. And it's got the teacher that you can scoop up um, the students. What do you need, love? What are you looking I'm for? Looking for my do you want to show our friends all the magnets? Okay. Okay. We're going to have Winnie show you the magnets. But that Walmart. So we got some of them from that really amazing Walmart. And some of them at from the airport. From the airport where Winnie got those um, princess dollies. This is the princesses: Cinderella, Ariel, and Jasmine. Can I see? Yeah. You can help me put them on the fridge after. Okay. Just put them over here on this side. I'm just watching you vlog too. I get the live show. And Elsa, Nana, with snowflake in the back. Love it. And Moana. And Maui. Maui. Uh huh. And Pooh is there too. Is Hey Hey there? Oh, yeah, Hey Hey's there. Yeah, and Hey Hey's on. <laughs> Love it. And Jasmine. Mm hmm. Amazing. And the genie. So cute. I wish we had a Boo and Aladdin. A magic carpet, but they didn't have those. And Dumbo. Look how cute he is. Bouncing on ball. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, I forgot this one. Yeah, I forgot that one too. What's it say? It says "Sisters Forever." It's in cursive, so it's hard to tell. Sisters Forever. Elsa and Anna Love and it. Like we got to see Elsa and Anna at Hollywood Studios and the Magic Kingdom, huh? This is Simba. Yes, remember who you are. <laughs> and Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> we met him too, huh? And Buzz and Woody. Yeah! And none of these. They're going into the disappearing closet. Oh, why? Oh, because you don't like Mickey Mouse. You're such a dingus, Winnie. What do you have against Mickey Mouse? I love them. They're my best friends. I'm hungry. I'll make you some I'm supper. I'm hungry. So we also oh. got Minnie and Mickey. No. And then the whole gang, stay in Florida. And then we got Orlando in Florida. I wish we had one that said Tampa or Indian Shores. I should have thought to get that when we were there. But I... Got a lot of Disney's. Well, some of them, know. these ones were two ninety seven. Some of them were two ninety seven. Some of them were like four ninety seven. Some of them were like six ninety nine. But we got a lot. You ready to put them on the fridge? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for your help. Hello, guys. <laughs>
typical night. We got all the kids home. I'm editing the vlog. Winnie's doing homework and the laundry's still not put away. And the dishes aren't totally done. And it's this is just typical. Um, hopefully we can wrap things up quickly because Addie and Boober are coming early tomorrow. They usually come, if they're coming early, they come at 6.30 in the morning and Winnie has to be awake before they get here or else it puts her right in a mood. So I wake her up before 6.30, but I always wake up at six anyway. So anyways, I'll bring them to school. I have no idea what I'm planning for tomorrow. But I'm planning on having a better day tomorrow than I did today. That is that is the hope. <sighs> today was supposed to be like the day I had been waiting for. And while I'm so happy that I have all of that Disney stuff, today was just a weird, really weird day. And I did want to address something um, without... Mm, like bringing the party down, okay? Actually, I'm coming down to my room to do that because Winnie's tired and I certainly don't want to talk about these things in front of her right before bedtime. Um, but I did address this in the video <laughs> that I deleted. Um, and that was where my couple of tears came from that I said at the beginning of this video. Um, I don't want to be insensitive and I feel like if I don't talk about it, then it's like I am just like closing my windows and not looking outside. Um, of course, I am referring to the devastating news um, coming out of the States yesterday. Um, it will have been two days ago by the time this video is uploaded. Um, but... Like there's, it's so senseless. I, I, I try not to watch the news a lot because I have really bad anxiety. And if I keep my eyes in the fearful stuff, my, my head will always be scared. So I really do try to avoid it. But then some things you can't avoid. And I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not like, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say Layla Ali, but that is, I was thinking Mother Teresa. Okay. <laughs> Layla Ali is Muhammad Ali's daughter. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I definitely meant I'm no Mother Teresa. Okay. I'm not a woman who has answers. Um, Right now, I am just a mom who is sad and feeling for um, all the other moms that are sad and especially for the moms that are missing their babies right now. I just... <clears throat> When this happened, I just, I don't understand elementary school. Like, I, uh, it's so mind-boggling and frustrating. And when this, when this happened before Christmas, like, was it 10 years ago that it was in elementary school? And... I remember turning on the TV. This was back when we like had actual TV. I guess we do now too. We just don't use it. We only stream stuff. But I guess for instead of it, the boys watch sports. But anyways, I used to turn on the TV and just like have it on. And I don't live like that anymore. But um, I remember seeing um, the devastating news about an elementary school back then. And... I remember like dropping everything and just standing and crying in front of my TV thinking, how is this the world I am raising kids in? How is this, how is this safe? This is, this is my worst nightmare. It's any mom's worst nightmare. And 
and dads, of course, and, and family. I, I'm a mom, so I talk about moms. Um, but when, when that one happened, my boys were in elementary school. And now when this happened, my little girl's in elementary school. And I, it just, it really, there's, there's no answers. It just really hurts. And there's, I mean, there's nothing I can do to fix anything. I just hope that my generation will raise kids with so much more love and acceptance and less bullying. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I just, I didn't want to just not mention it because obviously, um, it's a big deal. It's a really big deal. And I don't have answers at all. I really don't. I just, I feel it. And I'm sorry if you're feeling it too. And if this incident affects any of my friends personally, um, I don't even know. <laughs> I have no answers. I just have a shoulder. I'm sorry. And on that note, I'm done for today. <laughs> today was such a long day. And I need to go to bed. <laughs> really? And just wake up tomorrow and try to have a better day. I mean, it wasn't like a devastating day. It just was like there's a few bumps in the road. And I mean, here we are. 926. When he hasn't had a bed night snack, she doesn't even have her jammies on. I don't have to eat more. Yeah, you can eat. No. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. She's working on an art project and she's got regular yeah. homework. <sighs> Cheers, you guys. Curtis made me a drink in one of my new cups. <laughs> I love it. Cheers. <sighs> All right, guys. We will see you back here tomorrow. I love you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.